Welcome IB Economics students to this video lecture today about the determinants of supply and the shift in the supply curve. Now as we learned in previous videos, we learned that the, the market equilibrium graph is when the demand and supply curves come to meet together. Now when there are um, factors that causes the demand curve to either increase or to decrease, um, it is what we call the shift in demand caused by the determinants of supply. So in today's video, we'll be talking, uh, in this video lecture, we're going to be looking at the six most prominent um, uh, factors and determinants of supply, that of which can either cause a supply to increase, as in seen in this top graph right here, or to show the supply as decreasing, as shown in this graph right here. Now, when illustrating uh, the shift in supply curve, it is very important that we also put in these arrows in order to show the motion in which the supply curve is being shifted to. So in this first graph, we could see the shift in supply curve from being at this original quantity around the price of 19 and, and, and the quantity of 2, to around the price of 12 and the quantity of 3. So the quantity increased, um, as we can see through the equilibrium point, when we when we draw a line between um, the equilibrium point and the quantity, a vertical line, we can see the original quantity was 2, and a new quantity after the increase of supply due to the determinants of supply, the quantity demand, uh, uh, supplied is around 3. So now we can see the shift in supply due to the determinants of supply. Now in this second graph, the decrease in supply occurs where uh, the supply shifts from around 3 to around 2. So this is the decrease in supply, that which is caused by uh, uh, also by the dis dis ter uh, dis determinants of supply. Now um, we would like to now go into the six major determinants of supply. The first um, prominent determinant of supply is the number of sellers. This is quite obvious because as because um, as the quantity of sellers slash producers a uh, quantity of sellers slash producers increase, the overall supply of a good generally generally increases so that could be seen in firms such as um, the cell phone market when there are more saturation of new firms entering the market or even in perfect competition when there are new firms entering the market generally the supply of the good increases on the other hand if they are uh, of firms leaving the market then we could see the decrease in supply as graph 2 illustrates so this is the first uh, major um, determinant and, and 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 a number of sellers is, is extremely prominently seen uh, especially in um, of uh, market structures such as perfect competition and monopolistic competition now the second uh, major determinant of supply is the price of of resources so um, these are also called the um, total fix uh, or the total um total cost okay so the, these refers to the total cost necessary in order for uh, the firm or in this case the producer to operate so as the uh, uh as the prices for raw materials increase the production cost of the firm also increases causing the supply to decrease this that of which could also be illustrated in uh in, in in the decrease in supply so when the price of production increases there is a decrease in uh, increase in price causing a decrease in quantity supplied so the price of the resources is another major major determinant towards the quantity that is supplied now we can see this in, in especially clear in let's say uh, oil products like let's say like plastic when the when the price of oil increases the production for plastic goods certainly decreases to some extent however maybe not to a great extent because of um, the elasticity of price is rather low now we would like to look at the third uh, um, determinant of supply that of which is taxes and subsidies Taxes and subsidies is a major determinant of supply that of which influences, um, that of which highly influences 
the ability for firms to produce at a cheap rate. Let's say the government imposes a $2 tax or a certain specific amount of a specific tax on a uh, on producer, that which causes the price uh, of the good to, uh, of the of production to increase, which leads to less um less production er occurring because at higher prices firms be because at higher production prices firms are less incentivized to produce more. Therefore, at higher prices, therefore taxes and subsidies, taxes and subsidies incentivizes firms to either produce more or less of the good. So sometimes governments will subsidize uh, firms heavily in order to uh, boost their supply and to boost their and to, and to increase their quantity of uh, supply. For example, um, recently uh, the US government has been subsidizing heavily uh, firms such as GM or General Motors, even Tesla, to make more ventilators. So uh, that is a prime example of how government subsidizes, for example, General Motors in order to create more ventilators in the hopes of increasing the supply, as illustrated in a graph one in the hopes of increasing the supply of ventilators. So this is an example of how subsidies increases the supply because the government incentivizes them to produce more. However, uh, government taxes, for example, in tobacco products such as cigarettes or tobacco products or alcohol. So government um, taxes alcohol uh, on the producers. So the producers are incentivized to produce less and, and, and therefore um, the, 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 the total uh, production and quantity outputs it and quantity supplied by these firms also decrease. So that is another major determinant of supply that influences the quantity supplied. Um, the third one is tech technology. Technology has a huge and major impact on, on, the, on, on the effectiveness and efficiency. So technology has an has a major impact on the efficiency of production and cost of production so if we look at examples such as during the industrial revolution where technology played a major role for example during uh, the industrial revolution the cotton mills in france were able to produce a lot more product because technology and the steam um, steam machines are able to produce a lot more compared to manual labor so that is an example of how technology could come and make uh, the production more effective make the production more efficient and lowering down the cost of production therefore when the cost of production decreases and when the cost of production uh, decreases and when efficiency increases all of our overall increase in supply would occur as we've seen in an example of the industrial revolution and such another example of uh, uh, another major uh, determinant of supply is expectation expectations for example uh, specifically producer expectations let's say um, producers are expecting um consumer taste to change a lot in the next quarter. For example, let's let's bring up a classic example and back in the 90s beanie babies are um or, or these stuffed animals are really very popular. So cons producers see this trend and be like, "Yo, you know, um beanie babies are uh, a very hot toy and um, people really like it, so we should produce more." So the, the so so the uh producers expect they have expectations that consumers would like uh, this 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 product so they produce more so producers are incentivized to produce more um, products that are demanded by consumers that of which causes um, this causes quantity um, produced to increase or decrease. So um, the cons uh, producer expectation is another major determinant of supply that either causes the increase in um, produced output or causes a decrease in total output quantity. Now the sixth and final most major uh, determinant in supply is the related products. Related products. So the related products, um, a great example I would like to give is how like phone cases, iPhone cases, are directly related to um, to iPhones. So as the as as 
as a new line of iPhone is coming out, producers may want to produce a new uh, example or a new uh, variation of, of a, a phone case. So therefore, the increasing supply of phone cases will occur. However, if co uh, producers suspect uh, consumers to less uh, to demand less of this good or less of the phones in this example, then they will perhaps decrease their production, therefore leading to a decrease in supply for phone cases, that of which is a complementary good. So complementary and substitute goods have direct correlations with the, um, with the quantity um, demand, uh, supplied for uh, producers. So this is an example of how related goods uh, or complementary goods uh, cause the uh, supply of a certain good to increase or decrease as seen through the example and correlation between phone cases and iPhone uh, supply. Secondly, uh, they are also called substitute goods. So let's say um, the classic example is Coca-Cola and Pepsi, right? So as, let's see, uh, Coca-Cola has a decrease in supply, um, which means more people will want to buy Coca-Cola. However, the higher prices that Coca-Cola has will, will cause consumers to be unable to buy it. Therefore, they will go to a substitute good, in this case, Pepsi, where the Pepsi has a higher uh, quantity demand. So pr uh, producers, when they see this trend, they will say, hey, you know what? We should probably produce more Pepsi in order to make up for this loss. So this is a prime example of how related products uh, in the form of complementary goods and substitute goods will cause the produce quantity to either increase or decrease. Um, so this is an overview of the determinants of supply, either the number of sellers, the pr price of resources, existing taxes and subsidies, the existing technology, uh, consumer expectations, as well as related products all play a major role in either increasing the supply of a product or decreasing the supply of a product. And in graphic form, when the product uh, supply of a product is increased, the, uh, the the supply curve will shift to the right. In the case where um, uh, the, the, the supply of a product is decreased, then uh, uh, the supply curve will shift to the left, as illustrated in uh, graph A and graph B. Uh, now this concludes my uh, video uh, lecture concerning the determinants of supply and the shifts in supply.